The word prevention consists of methods and activities that seek to reduce or deter specific or predictable problems, protect the current state of well-being, or promote desired outcomes and behaviors. At NAPTU, prevention is a major strategy adopted in the fight against human trafficking. The celebrations to mark the World Day Against Human Trafficking is basically to create awareness in order to forestall occurrence. On today's episode, we will bring you the rest of the activities that mark the week-long event. It promises to be enlightening and also quite entertaining. I am Emanuela Okeke, and you are watching Naftip on the Move. Stay with us. In commemoration of the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons and the 15th year anniversary of the agency, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons had a lineup of activities which commenced on Friday the 27th of July with Jumat prayers and sensitization at the National Mosque, followed by a music concert on Saturday evening, geared towards reaching the youths who are usual targets of human traffickers. On Sunday, a Thanksgiving service was held at St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Mitama. Then a walk against human trafficking spanning over 10 kilometers, which saw to the effective dissemination of human trafficking messages, followed by a press conference at the agency's headquarters in Abuja. On the 31st of July, Folio Communications Limited, publishers of Daily Times newspapers and Heritage Bank, collaborated with the agency to host the annual public lecture and a book launch at Chelsea Hotel, Abuja. The Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadonle welcomed the guests. The theme for this year's celebration, Human Trafficking, Boundaries of Uncertainties, is quite instructive as it reminds all stakeholders of hundreds of Nigerians who lose their lives daily under the scorching sun in the Sahara Desert and raging Mediterranean in their strike to cross over to other regions of perceived greener pasture. Early this year, the federal government commenced massive evacuation of over 2,000 Nigerian migrants, many of whom are victims of human trafficking, trapped in Libyan camps in exploitative conditions. The sore testimonies of the returnees re-echo the theme of uncertainties surrounding their departure, intensified by the gruesome experiences at destination countries. The condition of the mind of the victims all through the trafficking phases spells uncertainties uncertainties of what the future holds for them in their locality or country of origin, uncertainty of what they will experience on transit, and uncertainty about what fate awaits them in their destination country. Hence, victims are trapped within its boundary of uncertainties. We must collectively work to put a stop to this bondage. I make bold to highlight the achievements of the agency and its critical stakeholders in the last 15 years through its vigorous pursuit of its programs and operations based on its strategic priorities. Areas categorized as 5P strategy approach of policy, prevention, protection, prosecution, and partnership. Some of these collaborations have yielded great milestones, including the mainstreaming of human trafficking content into basic education curriculum in Nigeria, and the establishment of the Nigeria-UK Joint Border Task Force on Human Trafficking. Other achievements include engagement, robust engagement of the media, 
engaging the organized private sector, establishment of the Native Rapid Response Squad, strengthening of the intelligence and international cooperation units for effective service delivery, restructuring of the Joint Border Task Force for effective service delivery, engaging the embassies and foreign missions more aggressively, engaging the federal government to strengthen its political will towards combating human trafficking, creation of the reforms unit, specialized training for personnel, membership and active participation in local and international collaborative efforts aimed at ensuring human dignity, including the protection sector working group, technical working group on migration, among others. Despite these achievements, NAMTIP is not resting on its oars in ensuring that the fight against trafficking is won. It is a challenge we all have to address collectively. This can only be achieved if we all join hands together to end this menace. Goodwill messages were delivered by some of the dignitaries present. When I think about migration, I always like to think that a way of describing it is the good, the bad and the ugly. And uh, when we think about trafficking, we're very firmly in that ugly um, area. I think roughly 80,000 people from Nigeria have, in the last three years or so, have stepped off boats into southern Italy. There's maybe eight, nine, ten thousand people who've died crossing in the Mediterranean Sea over that same period, and others and maybe many more in the Sahara Desert. Today there are 60,000, maybe at least 60,000 Nigerians in camps in, uh, in Libya. And many of these people, whether they're smuggled or they're trafficked, and sometimes it's difficult to identify the boundary between smuggling and trafficking, face very few uh, prospects. Or well, the prospects they face are ones of exploitation, are very often arising out of deception and misinformation that leads them into prostitution or into uh, some form of labor that's unpaid for. So in doing all of this work, and in fighting trafficking, you have an ally in the European Union. Just as uh, the Director General of NAPTIV said, she's not resting on her oars. We in the European Union and the Member States, we're not resting on our oars as well. And in taking forward this work, I very much look forward to the deep collaboration that we've maintained over the years and sustaining that into the future. Representative of the Vice President of ECOWAS delivered the keynote address. Human trafficking and child abuse are violations of human rights and crimes that impact on the victims in the worst way possible. The physical, psychological, emotional and economic damage to victims who are mostly women and children uh, is sufficient justification for our collective outrage at these violations and our determination to eradicate them. This event offers us the opportunity to commit to the elimination of human trafficking and child abuse as an important contribution to attaining our goals in the area of human security. Permit me to acknowledge the relentless efforts of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons in the combat of human trafficking. The ECOWAS Commission is seized of the efforts of Nigeria and NAPTI as the focal institution for the combat of trafficking, not just in Nigeria, but within the West Africa space, through collaborations with neighboring countries, such as the signing of a quadrupartite agreement in 2003 with Togo, Benin, and Ghana, and also a bilateral cooperation agreement to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in persons in 2005 with the Republic of Benin. The ECOWAS revised treaty and protocol relating to the mechanism for conflict prevention, management, resolution, uh, peacekeeping and security, and its supplementary protocol on democracy and good governance commits to the realization of the fundamental human rights of all ECOWAS community citizens. Related policies and plans of action elaborated by the ECOWAS Commission to address various human security and development concerns are the labor and employment policy, the child policy, gender policy, humanitarian policy and plan of action, and the plan of action for the implementation of international uh, humanitarian laws. She also stressed on closer collaboration amongst stakeholders. We are clear on the value of cooperation uh, between member states and a regional approach 
based on principles of mutual support, collective accountability, effective coordination, and comparative advantage. In the case of Nigeria, allow me to opine that the work of NAPTIP in coordinating and working with other key national stakeholders through the National Task Force should be intensified. There are, in addition, several key measures uh, member states, including Nigeria, can apply to the task of safeguarding our citizens. These include considering legal prohibitions on migrant smuggling in line with the United Nations Protocol on the Smuggling of Migrants, supplementing the United Nations Transnational Organized Crime, uh, Crime Convention, and applying criminal legislative pro prohibitions in relation to a standard of care. I salute NATIC for this initiative and reiterate the commitment of the ECOWAS uh, Commission to protecting the human rights of all West Africans and persons within the West African space. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malame, was ably represented by the Solicitor General of the Federation and Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Justice, Dayo Apata. The issue of human trafficking and illegal migration has, in recent times, impacted negatively in Nigeria's image. Indeed, recent developments have made it imperative for all and so to reflect on what has been done so far and what more needs to be done to reclaim our pride of place in quality of nations. The federal government is prepared to do more to assist critical law enforcement agencies like NATI in terms of increased funding and support to effectively combat this menace, which is threatening the moral and security of our society. May I give this opportunity to call the ECOWAS and ECAS Commission to come together as a matter of urgency to review the 2006 Plan of Action and craft a way forward to develop a robust response to recent developments such as increasing flow of irregular migration from West and Central Africa to Europe and other parts of the world, as well as labor export exploitation in two sub-regions. I urge all stakeholders to remain resolute in their commitment to call this crime in terms of support and cooperation in the fight against terror. The representative of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Basi Ekong, shed light on the way forward. We are all gathered as allies in the global fight for human life and dignity. Regardless of the differences in our mandates, nationalities or religion, combating human trafficking is not possible without sustainable cooperation with all partners to stakeholders, utilizing the tools available to government and the society. Slavery feeds on human misery to produce even more misery. We are therefore faced by a big, complex, self-sustaining criminal machine which must be stopped. The strategy to combat this crime must work across all borders, languages, culture, and religious beliefs, and the need to build and expand networks across law enforcement and civil society. When we act together, we become ambassadors of hope. Human traffickers, will face justice no matter where they operate. We will not relent in our efforts until we have a more humane and safer world devoid of slavery. The time to value human liberty and dignity is now. Our citizens must be free to choose and not to be chosen for. This is an inalienable ingredient that makes human beings truly human. We cannot afford to do otherwise, as we all have a crucial role to play. A short drama presentation highlighting the dark world of human trafficking and the proactiveness of NAPTIP entertained the guests. The public lecture was then delivered by the Anglican Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Archbishop Emmanuel Chukuma, who traced the history of human trafficking. Human trafficking and exploitation has been in existence across the globe for thousands of years from the ancient Greek and Romans to the medieval times and up to today, humans have been subject to various forms of physical and sexual slavery. As can be seen, slavery can also be found in religious texts, such as the Bible and the Quran. Now if we go back to 1400 to 1600, although forms of slavery existed from the 1400, 
and the 1400s marked the start of European slave trade in Africa with the Portuguese transporting people from Africa to Portugal and using them as slaves. In 1562, the British joined in on the slave trade in Africa. The development of plantation colonies increased the volume of the slave trade. Later, throughout the 1600s, other countries became more involved in the European slave trade. This included Spain, North America, Holland, France, Sweden, and Denmark. He also highlighted the factors that led to human trafficking and then made some recommendations. Conflicts in East and Central Asia, Africa, Europe, and Latin America tend to have led to large numbers of displaced people and refugees being increasingly vulnerable to exploitative forces. One of the main causes of women trafficking in Nigeria is the complete disregard for human rights. Women and also children are often viewed as objects that can be sold. Thus, they are sold into slavery and sexual exploitation or forced into marriages. Another thing is greed. Among other causes of human trafficking, there is also the constant search for wealth. People are often unsatisfied with what they have. Unemployment, poverty, hunger and lack. The federal government of Nigeria has taken certain steps to address the problem of human trafficking. But a lot more has to be done for the efforts of government to be meaningful. Number one, there must be an increased funding to the agency from the, from the federal government. Number two, provision of infrastructural facilities at the grassroots level. Number three, introduce social security schemes for vulnerable groups. Number four, implementation of universal basic education policy. It's very important. Number five, creation of employment opportunities for people at the grassroots level. Training and retraining of staff. Training of judges and creation of special courts to handle cases of human trafficking. After the lecture, the new NAPTIP slogan was launched. It gives me the pleasure on behalf of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and to the glory of God and to the, for the mankind to unveil the new slogan for the National Agency for Prohibition in Trafficking Persons. The climax of the event was the presentation of five books by a senior advocate of Nigeria, Professor Akishaya George, written by the Director General of NAPTIP and two staff members. To the glory of God and for the blessing of humanity and for the reinvigoration of the fight against human trafficking in Nigeria, we proudly present this works of art, this literary works, this well-packaged, well-delivered books to the Nigerians and to the international community in advancement of the vision and mission of the NAPT. Thank you. The representative of the wife of the president, Rose Audu, then addressed the forum. Human trafficking, as we are all aware, is a crime against humanity which desecrates the innocence of childhood, violates the essence of womanhood, and abuses the cherished African tradition of fostering. We, as a people, leave the threshold of promise to that action and invest in the development of society through the upliftment of our standards and abolition of these cultures that hold us back. I call on wives of governors as mothers in the states to initiate actions and target elimination of human of these inhuman problems at state levels the event came to a close with a vote of thanks by the director public enlightenment arinze orakwe who appreciated the support of the federal government international communities non-governmental organizations and cso's the event was well attended by the pioneer executive secretary of the agency, Carol Ndaguba, past directors of the agency, ambassadors of Germany, Sweden, Italy and France, representatives from the United States Embassy, military personnel, Interpol, 
ICMPD, UNODC, BPW, Smedan, Delta State Anti-Human Trafficking Commission, Watcliffe, Nactal, representative of the Oba of Lagos, Chief Omogbolahan Durosimi, and representatives of various NGOs and CSOs, amongst other distinguished guests. A novelty football match with the theme, Kick Out Human Trafficking, was organized by the agency in collaboration with Orafo Investment International, Foxtrot ONG Company Nigeria, Pepsi Nigeria, and DMN Limited. The football match featured Team Naptip and the all-star players drawn from the Nigeria Immigration Service, Nigeria Police Force, National Intelligence Agency, Federal Road Safety Commission, Nigeria Security and Civil Defence Corps, Interpol, Nigerian Bar Association, Watcliffe, Nactal, Ministry of Sports, International Organization for Migration, and next to none. The match, which was keenly contested, ended with a draw, but after a penalty shootout, the NAPTIP team emerged winners with two goals to one against the All-Star players. The representative of the Minister of Sports, the Director, Enterprise Development Promotion, Simeon Odiabo, commended the initiative. Kudos to the NAPTIP for the efforts that have been achieved for this period of time. I am elated that NAPTIP has put together this domestic match tag with our stakeholders to show solidarity in the fight against human trafficking and to raise awareness of the public on the existence of this monster in our society. A monster we shall defeat. Commending team NAPTIP, the Director General, Dame Julie Okadonli, also highlighted the purpose of the novelty match. All of us to always realize that we are to work together as one to fight human trafficking. We can't do it alone. The fight against human trafficking concerns the whole of government and the whole of society, everyone involved, all our partners from the various law enforcement agencies, the NGOs, the CSOs, the media, and everyone. And we hope that it's not just going to end here. As we've done this now, just to show the significance of working together, we are hoping that it will continue as we go along. The novelty football match was well attended by members of the international community from the Spanish Ministry of Interior, Nollywood celebrities including Omotola Jalade Ekeinde and NAPTIP ambassador Tonto Dike, former coach of the Nigerian national team Samson Siasia, management staff of various security agencies, civil society organizations and non-governmental organizations and the very supportive staff of NAPTIP. The activities to mark the 15th year anniversary of the agency and the World Day Against Human Trafficking is aimed at creating more awareness towards eradication of human trafficking in Nigeria. Human trafficking, popularly known as modern day slavery, is very much with us, even in this 21st century. It is a crime against God and humanity. You may be thinking, this message is not for me. Think again, because if you are paying your employee through an agent, you are a trafficker. If you employ a child under 12 years as a domestic worker, you are a trafficker. If you abduct a person against their will, keep and exploit them for monetary gains, you are a trafficker. If you promise international jobs with the intention to exploit the victim sexually and for cheap labor, you are a trafficker. If you buy and sell human organs, you are a trafficker. There are so many components of trafficking with devastating effects on the victims. This victim may be your daughter, son, brother, sister, mother or father. Let us be our brother's keeper. Join hands with NAPTI to stop human trafficking now. Report cases of human trafficking to these NAPTI hotlines 0703 0000203 080-02255-627847. NAPTIP, ensuring a human trafficking free nation. This is to inform the general public that Perebi Nicole Otubo, a notorious human trafficker, is wanted by NAPTIP. Anyone with useful information on her whereabouts should contact the agency on this toll free number 0703 000 203 or 0800. 
0225-5627-847. You can email info at naptip.gov.ng. Naptip, empowered to protect you. For more inquiries and support, or to report cases of suspected human trafficking and child abuse, please call NAPTIV hotlines on 0703-0000203 or 0800-2255-627847 or email info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at NAPTIP Nigeria and watch our videos on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed our package. This is a warning to my brothers out there. Men are also trafficked for sexual exploitation, as weird as that may sound to you, and also for exploitative labor. So if anyone is promising you a very good deal with any football academy or a club, please clear with NAPTIP and the Ministry of Sports. It's time to say goodbye, and I must urge you to support NAPTIP by reporting suspected cases of human trafficking child abuse and violence against persons. I hope to see you same time next week. I am Imanala Okeke. Thank you for watching.